Uh, I'm gonna get these uh, pawpaws out of my shorts. Uh, there we go. God, man, I got a big. go swimming what's going on everybody now in this particular hole of water here I would normally be musky fishing but I realized something today and that is this is probably the last time I'm gonna be able to wade fish uh, as I am with shorts and a shirt on uh, before it gets too cold to wade fish and I have to use waders all the time and then it becomes a lot more of a, a task so I'm out here today ultralight fishing and should be some uh, really fat and aggressive bass out here. I don't know what it is about the creek in the fall. I mean, I know the, fall, the, the falling water temperatures kind of trigger every, everything to bite, but uh, it's just, it's like the creek comes to life. So, gonna be out here ultralight fishing today. This water is probably gonna be cold because it dropped to uh, almost high 40s last night. But, got my Ned rig. And, feel pretty confident I'm gonna see a good fish today. God, this water's cold. <laughs> now this is the clearest I've seen this water in a long time. And that's a good thing because, it's a good thing I brought my fluoro because fluorocarbon really does good in situations like this. When you need to be stealthy, use fluorocarbon they just they can't see it I thought I had a muskie muskie just came out right there I have to go around and unhook this <clears throat> I actually have wading shoes on too got felt bottom on it to prevent people from slipping on rocks but nothing's perfect well off to a booming start oh, off to a booming start the only bad thing about fishing with Stella is you value the reel more than your own life and safety sometimes but we're good and didn't damage the reel at all. My knee got a little banged up. The army did that to him years ago. I'm just surprised I couldn't pick up a smallmouth right here. I can usually pick up a nice bass right here. But I thought I was hung on a muskie because there was a muskie swimming around here. I haven't been down this way in two years. Last time I fished this way was when uh, that little boy was uh, drowned in that flood. So, I'm pretty excited to see how this has changed. You can already tell there's going to be fish in different spots this time. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Alright. I'll take a picture of those. Ah, oh, they're hard too. Cool. So those are pawpaws. And they are very good to eat. But unfortunately, they aren't ripe and I'm not gonna pick them from the tree. But that's a good sign. I'm, I'm hoping I can find some laying around on the ground. There's a lot more trees down here. Yeah, all kinds of them. That one's almost ripe. Oh, well, okay. So these are kind of like bananas. Ooh, that one's ripe. These will fall off a tree when they're ready. But if you grab them at just the right time, you can uh, pick them and they'll continue to ripe, ripen. 
after you pick them. I'm trying to feel, yeah, these are really soft. So those are good. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is already a score here. See, everybody was thinking I was kind of crazy saying there was pawpaws in September, but I knew they'd be down here. Oh, man, this is like six flags around uh, smallmouth right here. Look at this. Where am I going to fish? Tons of little fish grabbing it. But I mean, that's, that's, that's deeper water right over there. I'd say that's probably three or four feet deep right there. What do I got? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, look at that. Big old chub minnow right there. <laughs> wow. Oop. That was like a, a seven inch chub minnow. Man, you would have thought there'd be a big bass in there. This is like my, my zen garden. This is my place I go to relax. You can't beat this. Look at that. Look at that log right there over that deep water. Little surprise that I didn't get whacked by a bass right there. Ooh. There's a fish. Oh yes. Healthy little smallmouth, about a 10 incher, maybe 12. But by the way he's pulling on this rod, I can already tell he's a chunky little guy. Jeez, yeah, all right, I'll fight you. Yeah, come here, come on up, show you. I'll show you the rest of the people watching here. <laughs> Endless energy. Endless energy, yeah. Already getting thick for the winter time. Beautiful smallmouth. I hope I didn't come in on the deep side of this hole. That's gonna suck. Jeez. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All smallmouth fishing. Come here. I got a feeling I'm gonna catch something big today. Oh boy, I sure thought there was a fish. Couldn't even keep up with that thing. Yeah. Give us a show there, buddy. Nice. <sighs> He's not the four pounder. But that's what it's all about right there. Catch and release. I gotta find a way around this whole water without scaring everything in it. God, look what a pretty day. Well, I'm really surprised I didn't get anything out of this hole other than those small ones, but I think the ticket's gonna be on the way back when the sun goes down. Uh, but man, it's just gorgeous out here. Solid fish here. Oh man. <laughs> Chunky smallmouth here. Chunky smallmouth. 
Oh man, look at that swirl he made. Look at me, man. I am pulling on this fish. It's pulling on me one. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I'd like to get a picture with you, honey. I need a little hand net. Oh, man. Oh, man. Picture time. Picture time. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you can't beat small uh, fall smallmouth fishing. He's got me all tongue-tied. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They float. Come here, baby. Zero percent chance I just pop, put pawpaws. Pawpaws down my shorts. On the plus side. Oh, man. Yeah. These are ready to go. Well, I had to put the Ned rig back on. Ah, I'm going to get these uh, pawpaws out of my shorts. There, there we go. And... Oop, that one went down a little far. All right. I'll, uh, put those down in there. My bag is really heavy now. I want the big one hanging out. Right there. Something's got it. <clears throat> that is a adventurous little hole of water there. Look at that. Right on a log pile. go get out of there no way this is a rock bass that is a rock bass I was wondering when I was gonna catch one of you all Jeez. you would have thought that was a pound and a half smallmouth the way I set the hook on it and it didn't move that was treacherous Is this what is this rock bass nice <laughs> yeah man all those colors I thought you were sauger Well, that's, that's all for that. Let's take a look at what we did catch though that really is gonna be just awesome later. Check that out. I may not have caught a lot of fish today, but one of the joys of getting out in nature is uh, finding stuff that you can eat um, and, and use in some form or fashion. I always like getting out, finding mushrooms, uh, finding, uh, pawpaws, stuff like that, like raspberries, wild berries, stuff like that. And uh, today was just uh, another one of those, uh, another one of those times where I could just get out and in addition to fishing, just enjoy myself and enjoy being outside because it's gonna start getting cold here and I'm gonna be limited to the bank probably musky fishing until, uh, until I get, uh, get my waders fixed. They got a hole in them or buy new waders and then I can start wade fishing for musky in the winter time. But, 
appreciate y'all tuning in today i know i didn't catch a lot of fish but you don't always catch a lot of fish but i'm just blessed to be outdoors and being able to fish so thanks for watching